Hello lovely people and welcome back to my channel. It's Bookish Friday and today I'm gonna do the social media book YouTube tag. Let's go! So this tag evolves around social media and it adds a prompt, a question to every form of social media. And the first one is Twitter and that is your favorite shortest book. For that one I chose Wat Ritsel Daar by Paul van Loon, a Dutch children's book. You've seen this before in my favorite childhood books. I just absolutely love this book. It's amazing. Very short, of course, because it's a children's book. I read this a zillion times as a kid. I've even read it a few times as an adult because it's just so awesome. So that definitely fits in here really well. The next one is Facebook, a book everyone pressured you into reading. I've chosen three books. The Hunger Games trilogy. I'm not really pressured into reading them, but I was pressured into watching the movies. And then I found these gorgeous books. Just, I mean, look at them. They're amazing. And I found these for a really small price. And I was like, I just need to have them because they're so pretty. But I did read them in the end. They're so shiny. I'm sorry. Um, I did read them. Um, I didn't really get pressured into reading the books, but I did get pressured into reading the movies. Um, just as I got pressured into watching the Harry Potter movies. And I might get pressured into reading the books as well. But I think this one fits best because, well, I was kind of pressured into the Hunger Games world. <laughs> Next up is Tumblr, a book you read before it was cool. Um, to be honest, I couldn't find a book for this prompt. Um, I'm usually the person that reads a book way after it was cool, like the Hunger Games I read that like a few years ago, and more like that I read Good Omens after watching the miniseries. I read The Color Purple way after the movie came out and it became popular. I read some classics way after they were popular and had movies coming out and all that. So I'm not really the person that reads things before they're cool, more like way after they're cool. So I couldn't pick a book for this one. Then we have MySpace. Yes, it's in the tag, MySpace. And it's a book you don't remember whether you like it or not. And for that one I picked Eileen Ramsey's The Stuff of Dreams. I've had this book for over 10 years, at least. I think I read it when I was about 12 maybe, so that's like 15 years more I like it. Um, I read it then, but I really don't remember whether I liked it or not. I think I did, but maybe I just didn't understand it quite well. Because, well, my English wasn't that perfect at the age of 12. Um, but at reading the back, I was like, I might want to read it again. And if I don't like it, then I'll just bring it to a secondhand store or something. But yeah, I just really don't remember anything of it. Next up is Instagram. And that would be a book that was so beautiful you would Instagram it. Um, there are many books that I really liked, like Content-wise, Ken Follett books, the Carlos Ruiz Savon books, you know, this whole quadrology. <laughs> it's a trilogy, but then with a book extra. Um, I really like those, like content-wise, and they're amazing. Um, but as I would go for like the cover, I would definitely pick this one. Uh, Watership Down by Richard Adams because it just looks so pretty and it's also a really amazing book I really loved it reading it like years ago but lately I found this English version I always read it in Dutch passed that on to my mother now and she's reading it um, but now I found an English version and it's so incredibly pretty I love it so much so that's definitely a book I would Instagram, even though I Instagram every book I read, so yeah. Next up is YouTube, a book you would like to see turned into a movie. Well, they already came up a bit as content-wise beautiful books, 
I would really love it if these, the Cemetery of Forgotten Books series, became movies, because that would be so amazing. Like, the books are absolutely, absolutely great. And I love them so much. And even though I just read all of them, uh, I'd love to read them all again. Even though, especially the last one is really, really big. It's over 800 pages, but I finished it in four days, something like that. Um, finished part three in one day, that one in two days, that one in two days. They're just too amazing to put down, you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, I would really love it if they became movies. And I would watch those over and over again as well. Then the last prompt is Goodreads, a book you would recommend to everyone. Um, there are many, many books I really like and I would recommend them. The Cemetery of Forgotten Books series, definitely one of them. Well, four of them. Um, but I think I have to go with Ken Follett's The Pillars of the Earth. Because that's my all-time favorite book, I think. Um, read it twice now. And yes, it's about a thousand pages, so... Mm -hmm. um, but this is the first Cat and Follett book that I ever read, and I loved it so much. And then came World Without End, and then A Column of Fire, and now next year they're uh, releasing a prequel to all of this. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that book, and I can't wait to read it, but yeah, we'll have to wait like a year or so. But this is definitely one that I'd recommend to everyone. Go read some Ken Follett. Whether it's The Pillars of the Earth or something else, all his books are amazing. I hope you enjoyed this social media book YouTube tag. And if you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below if you haven't already, leave a comment on which of these books you have read or which are your favorite books relating to the social media. And then I'll see you in the next one next week. Bye!